Well, I am the founder of Deja Vu's Jerk Hut and the author of Trust the Process. So I am all about trusting your process. This is why I wrote the book. Deja Vu's Jerk Hut is a food truck that I built in Ghana um, and I sell Jamaican food, hence the Jerk Hut. And I basically wanted to share my journey with you guys to, you know, let you guys know how I got from point A to point B, where I am today. But it is still a process. I am still learning and growing as I go. Everything that I did and that I'm doing is brand new to me. So let me share my journey with you all. Okay, so it basically all started when I was at work. I used to work for the post office. Um, I was there for about six, seven years. I just started wanting more out of life. I don't know. I didn't know what more was, but I just knew this was not the end for me. Like, I didn't want the post office to be a career. And then I love to travel. So the fact that I love to travel, you know, I got to see so many different places. And then I go to the post office and I used to work in the factory. So it was like, just was not it for me. And I thought to myself, like, what is my life about? You ever ask yourself, what is your life about? Like, what is my life about? I would literally work from 6 p.m. to, and I wouldn't get home until 4 a.m. What is my life about? This cannot be life. So, I remember going to Ghana for the first time, right? My friend invited me. She was somebody that I went to high school with. And even how I went to Ghana, let me start, let me go, let me go back a little bit more. So I, like I just stated, I love to travel and it was three continents that I didn't visit in order to visit all seven continents. And that was South America, um, Africa, and Antarctica. But I was already going to Brazil, so South America was going to be crossed off the list. And then I thought to myself like, wow, did you not ever consider going to Africa? Going to Africa was never a thought on my mind. It never crossed my mind to visit. It never crossed my mind to go there for a vacation. And then it just slapped me in the face like, why wouldn't you go to Africa? You're a black young lady. You're a black woman. Why wouldn't you go to Africa? So from that day forward, I said, you know what? I'm going to Africa. I'm going to Africa. I don't know how. I don't know when. This was back in about 2011. So, you know, I spoke it into existence. I manifested going to Africa. Manifestation is very powerful, y'all speaking things into existence we all have the power but um i ended up going to ghana in december of 2015. now if you know ghana you know december is the time to go december I, now being there i know that ghana is always it's never not the right time to go to ghana but if you go in december that is an experience right so i went for the first time december 2015 and i was just amazed i was amazed because when i went to the nightclubs i heard the music the same music that i would hear in the states um the food was good the culture was amazing the vibe the essence everything of ghana just was just like words don't do any justice okay you have to visit as a black person you have to visit africa at least once in your lifetime I went and it changed my life and I moved there and I brought my family there with me. It's something that I need to share with my friends and family, right? How can I, I felt free subconsciously as a black person in America, we're not free. Even consciously, we know we're not free. And I wanted my people to know that we have somewhere that we belong. We're accepted. We are loved. We are welcome to bring my family there, right? Ever since I came back to the States, now mind you, I left Ghana, I stayed for about 10, 11 days, came back to the States, had to go right back to work. It was not it for me. Ghana is on my mind. I was obsessed with Ghana. Everything was Ghana, 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 Ghana. It was to the point where people were annoyed with me. Like they were sick of hearing me talk about Ghana. One day I was at work and I was listening to Pandora and this song, um, I think it's Garnet Silk came on, Hello Mama Africa, I believe it's him, right? And I just got like goosebumps because I could even get emotional right now talking about it. I just had like this vision in my mind that I was in a restaurant 
and it was the grand opening and my entire family was there yeah. i was sitting on the floor of my restaurant in tears happy tears it was so clear like i could smell the food being cooked and i just started crying like thank you god thank you god thank you god thank you now let's keep in mind i don't have a culinary background i visited ghana once um the only food i know about cooking is when my mom cooks my grandpa cooks my grandma cooks that is about it i'm barely in the kitchen but it was something about this vision that was so profound that i felt like god is telling me to do this especially because it was something new it was something that would challenge me and it was something that i possibly couldn't have thought of myself because i don't cook i don't cook so i said to, to myself like this has to be god and because because the vision was so strong and like i literally had goosebumps i felt like i have to do this i felt like if i did not do this i would be letting god down and i believe that god gives us vision so that we can be motivated by it and it's up to us to decide whether or not what are we going to do with that vision that he gives us. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to follow your lead, God. I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to follow your lead. It took me four years to figure it out. And I still didn't figure it out. But ever since I made that move, I've i received so many blessings i was on the first family feud africa um hosted by steve harvey himself he flew us out to south africa that was a blessing i was featured on nbc nightly and news I wonder, they flew they in and the interview i was featured on travel nor and the crazy thing about that was i applied for travel nor there's it's this black travel um blog website and i applied for it years ago and they turned me down that's cool and now I was featured on the blog. And that's one thing. When in the times where we get a no, we think that's it. But when we get the no, that's really God saying, I have something bigger and better planned for you. And this is why you have to trust the process. Even with the no's, it's okay to get no's. It's amazing because I sit back and think to myself, what if I never followed God's calling? And I believe that it was only God. I would have never been on Family Feud. I would have never um, met Steve Harvey. <laughs> I would have never been on all of these platforms to al allow me to inspire so many other African Americans who are looking for a change, who are looking to relocate to the motherland, who's looking to even start a business because I, don't, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing and I just figured it out. That is the whole story of my journey so i basically want to end this video off with this will smith did an interview and he basically said that on the other side of fair is complete bliss so he tells his story of skydiving for the first time and me being crazy on me guess what i wanted to go do to go just to have that experience of Fear and bliss. <laughs> On the other side of fear is bliss. I went to go skydiving, y'all. Yes. Do you, you have any word for fans, fam, before you go jump? Uh, message to my friends and family. Um, sometimes in life, you just have to jump. And take right. So do it and don't think about it. And right. have fun while doing it. So, give me so before right. I moved to Ghana, I went to go skydive just so I can have that as a mantra in my mind because. It was a risk that I was taking. On the other side of this risk, it could be blissful. So let me see and live this so I can know exactly what it feels like. That experience made me fearless. Fear is something that does not exist, right? We constantly tell ourselves like, what if this happened? But it's not real. It's not real until it really happens. If it even happens. So I'm sitting there and I'm just like, wow, you really gonna do this? Then we go on the plane. And then like my stomach just started getting like feeling funny 
and I'm just anxious because I'm like, oh my gosh, the only way out of this plane is to jump out of this plane. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. There's no turning back. So now we're going up. We're going up. And I, I went first. I don't know if I'm going to do this. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to do this. Then they open the door and it's like, are you ready? I'm like, yeah. Then it's like, you really about to jump out of a plane, girl? What is wrong with you? So then he goes, one, two. Didn't even make it to three. And I'm screaming at the top of my legs flying in the air. immediately after that like will smith said it was blissful it was calming it was just to be up in the clouds and it's just like wow to see the world up from above it was an amazing experience but that experience allowed me to be fearless and it allowed me to be okay with taking risk to leave everything that I know behind to leave my job, to leave my family, to leave my friends, to go to Ghana and start something new, something foreign, um, was a risk. It was a risk I was willing to take. And I was willing to take that risk because I believe once again, that it was something that God told me to do. And to this day, uh, right now I'm in the States, but I'll be going back to Ghana very soon. Um, I have not been stable in ghana yet but i'm not letting that stop me because i've inspired so many people to visit ghana i've received so many messages from people saying that you know they're proud of me i appreciate that i say all of that to say take that risk take that risk start that business um and it doesn't have to be 100 percent all the way together before you start start small and then work your way up. I am still learning. Like I said, I did not know anything, even down to marketing. Now I have so many jobs and titles to this one business that I started. Um, but I'm learning as I go and I'm growing as I go. And that is what will happen when you start. So start, take that risk, follow your gut, follow your intuition. We all know what we need to do and we need to stop sitting on it and do what needs to be done. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, you can follow me on YouTube, Deja's Views. That is D-E-I-J-H-A apostrophe S-V-I-E-W-S. You can also purchase my book, Trust the Process, on Amazon. You can type it in um, in the search, Trust the Process, or you can type in my name, Deja Gordon, and you'll see it. This is what it looks like. And yeah, that is all.